Okay, Harry. It's been a long day. Really tired. And oh. I'm off to bed. And off to bed. Of course you are, you lazy Weasley. Lazy Weasleys. Welcome to second year flying. I feel like I'm moving now. Yeah, they, they kind of move. Exceptional. You receive an A+. Plus. That was exhausting, Harry. I'm off, I'm to, off bed. to bed. See you later. Of course, Ron, of course. You know what this should be called? Harry Potter and Doron is off to bed. That's the new name of the game. Nice one, Harry. Ah, oh, don't worry. Well, all this excitement has worn me out. I think I'll head off to bed. Ah, oh, you too? Really? Nearly had this niggas being attacked and I... Oh, I'll tell you in the morning. <laughs> Come on. Give me a... Give me a boost or something. Here we go. And I won. What's going on here? Hello there. He's not worth the trouble, Ron. Oh, I suppose you're right. I'm off to bed now. Anyway, I'm tired and I'm off to bed. Let's go. <laughs> Harry Potter and the I am off to bed stuff. Um, I suddenly... Solemnly swear, I am off to bed. <laughs> the air alone would be able to unseal the chamber, unleash the horror within, and use it to purge the school of all who are unworthy to study magic. I always knew Salazar Slytherin was a twisted old loony. It sounds to me like the horror within mentioned in the book is a monster that only the air of Slytherin can control. All this talk of monsters has given me the creeps. <laughs> I'm off to bed. I'm off to bed. It isn't him. Malfoy's not the heir of Slytherin. Oh, he must be. Who else could it be? I don't know, but it's got to be someone who was here at Hogwarts 50 years ago, when the chamber was last opened. Well done, Harry. You did a great job. See you in the morning. I'm off to bed. Night, Harry. Good night, Ron. I don't believe you had anything to do with what happened to Nearly Headless Nick. Then again, I was stuck behind that tapestry all the time. 